By the end of the 19th century, America's plains and forests were nearly empty of wildlife. But out of that carnage, Hornaday, Roosevelt, and others began to forge a philosophy that became the roots of modern conservation. The destruction was so shocking that many people were receptive to these new ideas, even some very unlikely ones. In 1882, General Sheridan led an expedition that blazed the trail from Jackson Hole to Yellowstone. But when he got there, to the only place where buffalo were meant to be protected, he found that poachers were still slaughtering the last remnants of America's big game. Buffalo and elk. Like buffalo, elk had been reduced to a fraction of their former numbers. Towards the end of the 19th century, this was one of the few places which still echoed to the bugling of rutting elk. As bulls defended their herds of cows and thrashed the vegetation, showing off their virility. But for how much longer? Sheridan's enemy had been the Indians, not the buffalo. He was now disgusted by the slaughter of these great symbols of American wilderness. So in 1886, Sheridan sent the army into Yellowstone. This time on the side of the buffalo. The man who had helped push the buffalo close to extinction was now fighting to protect it. Yet even protected by the army, there were only 23 animals left in Yellowstone. They were right on the brink. One bad winter could wipe them out. And these were the last of the truly wild buffalo.